is going on, fellow vets? Brian Reese, the VA Claims Insider, coming at you live from Austin, Texas. And today I'm sharing everything you need to know about VA disability ratings for hearing loss. And I'm also going to explain the hearing loss compensation tables and the whole process so you actually understand how the VA reviews and rates hearing loss. Now, it can be really, really confusing. Okay, so hang with me. The first thing I want to share with you, though, is that when it comes to VA disability for hearing loss, okay, it is one of the most difficult conditions to get service connected at all, hearing loss. And it's also one of the hardest conditions to get rated above 0%, okay? Now, why is that? Well, there's a couple reasons. The first reason is a lot of veterans didn't have hearing loss on active duty, okay? So here you are years later, 5, 10, 20, 30 years later, and you file a claim for hearing loss, okay? And the compensation and pension examiner and the VA rater say something like, there's no evidence of hearing loss on this person's active duty tour, okay? There's no evidence of it. And it's 30 years later, this person's a lot older now, maybe their hearing loss is due to natural causes and natural progressions as the body's age, not to military service, okay? That's issue number one. The second thing that I see is when you go through the hearing loss uh, C&P exam to include the audiogram, okay, that's going to be administered by an audiologist who's going to measure different frequencies and ranges of your hearing. If you look at how the VA rates hearing loss from zero to hundred percent, it is virtually impossible. I'm not saying it's, I'm not saying it is impossible, but it is extremely difficult to get a rating above 10%. It's really, really difficult to get a rating above 40%, okay? And I'm just going to share real quick, the 100% disability rating for hearing loss means you have total deafness in both ears, okay? So again, VA disability ratings for hearing loss, they range from 0% to 100% in increments of 10%, but it's very difficult to get the condition service-connected. If you do get it service-connected, it's very difficult to get it rated above 0%. Okay, now, hearing loss compensation. Again, at the 0% level, okay, at the 0% disability rating for hearing loss, what do you get? Okay, nothing because it's non-compensable. Versus at the 100% rating for hearing loss, you get a minimum of $3,735.85 a month. That's the rate for the veteran alone at the 100%. Now, the interesting thing to note is that hearing loss is actually the number two most claimed VA disability behind tinnitus at number one, right? The ringing of your ears. Real quick, I've had some comments, people freaking out about the way I say tinnitus versus tinnitus. I'm gonna clear that up real quick. Okay, you can leave me a comment if you want, you call me a smoker, joker, whatever. Okay. The medical community calls it tinnitus, okay? Tinnitus, tinnitus. Most people who have nothing to do with the medical community and don't know the pronunciation call it tinnitus. So over time, both have become acceptable. Okay, so there's no you know one, one way to say it. Let's talk quick though about service connection for hearing loss. Most veterans who are gonna try to get service connected for hearing loss are going to do so via direct service connection, okay? Remember, direct service connection means you're telling the VA that your hearing loss was caused or made worse by your active duty military service, okay? Now, hearing loss ratings, again, 0%, 10%, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100, okay? Now, the average VA rating for hearing loss is 10%. However, many veterans have a 0% disability rating for hearing loss. Now, real quick, if you've been out of the military for more than one year, you don't have hearing loss 
currently service connected, okay, but you think it should be, loud noise exposures, gun ranges, maybe you worked on a flight line, you were deployed in combat, you didn't have hearing protection. There's lots of reasons, okay? Military vets were exposed to many, many different types of loud noises, typically without proper hearing protection. That can absolutely cause or make your hearing loss worse. But if you've been out of the service for more than a year, you don't currently have your hearing loss service connected, but you think it should be, get a Nexus letter from a private healthcare provider to help you prove the link or connection, the Nexus of your hearing loss back to your military service. Now, if you need Nexus letters, DBQs, we can help you. We can even help you get them at reduced rates from our network uh, of amazing professionals, okay? So how's the VA rate hearing loss? It's rated under CFR Title 38, Part 4, the schedule for rating disabilities, diagnostic code 6100 for hearing loss. Again, the lowest rating you can have is 0%. The highest rating is 100%. Thanks for sticking with me. I am going to walk you through step-by-step step the exact process that the CNP examiner and the VA rater are going to go through when they're trying to determine your final rating for hearing loss. Okay, so the first thing that happens, you're going to be scheduled for a CNP exam, and they're going to conduct something called the audiogram, okay, which is a hearing test. Now, there's two things to think about. Number one, there's a controlled speech discrimination test called the Maryland CNC, and there's a pure tone audiometry test without hearing aids. So if you have hearing aids, they're going to tell you to take them out, they're going to put some headphones on you, and they're going to play different things, and you're supposed to either repeat back, raise your hand, click the buttons, etc. Now, quickly before we move on, VA ratings for hearing loss are based on your ability to hear in both ears, okay? However, the VA does not assign a separate rating for each ear. Instead, they assign one rating for both ears, even if one of the ears has no hearing loss, okay? The way that the table works, I'm gonna explain it, you could have perfect hearing in your right ear and massive hearing loss in your left ear, both ears factor in to your final rating. Okay, so let's walk through the multi-step process. So there's a two-step process with multiple parts in each step. And then there's three tables that you've got to discriminate. Now, before we're done or after we're done, look in the description of this video below. I have the exact step-by-step -step process for VA ratings for hearing loss, as well as the VA hearing loss compensation tables for 2024. You can actually go and walk through it yourself and assign it based upon where you're at if you've ever had a hearing test or an audiogram. If you haven't, you can get an estimate of where you're gonna stand. So let's talk about step number one of the two-step process. Again, the controlled speech discrimination test, the Maryland CNC. Now the Maryland CNC isn't your standard Q&A, okay? Instead, there are 50 phonetically balanced words that are used to assess your ability to discriminate speech. Okay, so let me just share an example of what you may see on a Maryland CNC test, okay? Words like ask, bat, ball, seat, dip, love, shoe. They're gonna be asked to repeat the word back that you hear to the examiner. They're trying to see if you can discriminate speech based upon what you heard. Then they're gonna go through the pure tone audiometry test which determines the tones that you can hear at different pitches and volumes without hearing aids. So if you have hearing aids, they're going to tell you to take them out. Okay, so that's step one, the two things, speech discrimination, pure tone, audiometry test. Let's go on to step number two. Still part of the same audiogram, but they're going to look at the percentage of speech discrimination, okay, measured by what's called the Maryland CNC test. And then they're going to look at what's called the pure tone threshold average or the PTA, which are displayed in vertical columns. So there's horizontal rows, vertical columns, 
And when you start mapping that, you'll start to see how they're going to come up with your rating for hearing loss. Okay, so remember, step number one, you're going to have a CNP exam for hearing loss. They're going to conduct the audiogram by an audiologist who's going to do a controlled speech discrimination test called the Maryland CNC and a pure tone audiometry test without hearing aids. Boom. Okay. Then in step two, using three different tables, they are going to start assigning numeric designations of your pure tone threshold average and your speech discrimination percentage. And they assign a Roman numeral for hearing loss based upon your percentage of discrimination. Remember the horizontal rows versus the vertical rows. So once you find the Roman numeral for each ear, okay, then you find the Roman numeral for the ear that hears best, okay? The VA Raider calls that the better ear, okay? Second, you're gonna find the ear that hears worst, the bigger Roman numeral, okay? So the ear that hears best, the ear that hears worse, and then finally, you find the intersection of those two points in the table. Now, so for example, let's say your best ear, when you're looking at this table, has a Roman numeral of two, okay? That's your best ear. And the worst ear has a Roman numeral of five, okay? Well then, according to the table, your rating for hearing loss should be 10%. Again, I have these tables and the step-by-step -step process explained in the video below, okay? All you got to do is literally look in the YouTube video description below. You're going to see the link. You can follow along with the two-step process and then the three tables that are used to assign your rating. Fellow vets, thank you for sticking with me. I know this was a lot. I know sometimes it gets confusing when you're describing a process. I hope you found this video super valuable. Please like it. Please share it. Please comment below. All right, tell me where you're dialing in from. Tell me your branch of service, your years of service. I want to have a chance to celebrate you, okay, for serving our country and to tell you how much I appreciate what you've done to defend freedom. Fellow vets, if you need help, if you're trying to service connect hearing loss, okay, or any other disability claim, if you're trying to increase a VA disability rating that is already service connected, I got your six, okay? Maybe you need more medical evidence, nexus letters, DBQs, mental health IMOs. Maybe you need a mental health evaluation. Okay, mental health is a high value claim. We have your six, okay? We're gonna help you. We are gonna help you. And you know what? I don't even want you to just take my word for it. I want you to go read the reviews of the veterans whose lives we have changed forever. You can start right now by going to vaclaimsandsolder.com. I'm sure there's that banner across the bottom of the screen. You'll see it right there, vaclaimsandsolder.com. Folks, I literally cannot wait to meet you. I can't wait to help you get more tax-free compensation and benefits for life for you and your family. I can't wait to help you change your life. Thank you. We'll talk to you really soon.